All right, welcome back. Now we picked another area this time. You can see it's more of an industrial area here. And again, there's a sign here saying showrooms for lease. So that means people have closed down and other people are still open. Now, what makes a McDonald's successful while these guys are struggling? And I tell you, it's the systems for getting the customers. So let's talk about what are some of the things that we get paid really good money for that we can help a business with. But for example, we can help a business develop a better website. We can help a business develop a better signage, right? Have a better sign on the front of the window. We can help a business develop better flyers, leaflets, right? The way they answer the telephone. If you walk into a McDonald's, every McDonald's is the same. The way they treat you, the way they greet you. You walk into the average business and everything is different. People say one thing one day, something else the next day. If you want to make money in business, it's got to be a repeatable system that keeps making money day in, day out. That's what a McDonald's is. That's what a Subway is. That's what any of the big franchise chains are. That's what an RMA insurance is. It's day in, day out, same things over and over again. So let's give you some specific. Look, there's a place over there. It's called Jiu Jitsu Club. So they teach Jiu Jitsu, which is a martial art. Now, if we were going to help that business, what could we do to help that business get more customers? Well, let me tell you the secret to making money in business and what never to do. If you do just, just one thing, you can save yourself tens of thousands of dollars. In fact, some companies waste millions of dollars on this. Is people think that getting the name out there is going to make you money. And that's what all the advertisers sell. Get your name out there. If people know who you are, then your business will make money. But that's not what makes you money. What makes you money is customers in your business. So, do you know what OneTel is? Anybody heard? Have you heard of OneTel? Yeah? They went broke. One billion dollar failure. So just because you know the name doesn't mean you buy the product. What about Hyundai? Or you know, some of the other brands that are out there, there's a lot of car brands. Everybody knows what a Hyundai is, but are you driving one? It doesn't matter who knows about your business. What matters is, right, how many people are buying your product or service. That's how you build your brand. That's how brands are built, by customers buying the product. That's how McDonald's got big, because a lot of people eat their burgers. So in this case, the Jiu Jitsu, if we were going to help that business, then we would have to look at how can we get the most customers in there to try them out. Now, do you remember years ago, there used to be this little ad saying five CDs for a dollar, and there's a lot of stuff that people offer for free, especially on the internet? Well, the average business owner who sells hairdressing, restaurants, jiu-jitsu, clothing, they don't understand the power of the free like some of the people on the internet are doing at the moment, right? So what we do is we teach them how to get people to try that business out for a fraction of the cost they would have spent on traditional advertising. And sometimes it might be that in their website, we'll say, come and have your first week's training for free. Or we'll give you a free jiu-jitsu lesson, or five lessons, or ten lessons, or even a free month. I mean, let's face it, if you try something for a month and you really love it, are you going to come back? Absolutely you are. Right, so the cheapest way for the jiu-jitsu to get more business would be to actually offer a free trial of their products or service. But virtually no business owner will do that because they think, well, if I'm going to give my product away, how am I going to make money? But that's because they don't understand the second secret of making money is the first one is low acquisition of a customer. So if you give away a free lesson, right, how much would that cost you to do the lesson? You've already got a class full of people, so if you have another 10 people there, it doesn't cost you anything, right? The instructor's are already there, the business is already there, but most people won't do that. Now, the second thing is, once they're in there, obviously you have to convert them into a customer. So then we would make sure that we give them good service so they can come back. But that is the secret for helping that business, for example. And you can put that on your website, you can put it in flyers, you can use it in all sorts of advertising. So I'll see you on the next video, I'll teach you some more secrets.